Good evening everyone and welcome to the first in a new, brand new series of water tasting. I don't know if you can believe this, but it's actually been nearly three years uh, since the uh, first series of water tasting, described by at least one person as a groundbreaking series. And I've thought many a time over the last uh, couple of years whether or not it was the right moment to bring it back. But I felt that perhaps now, in the wake of this global pandemic, stuck as we all are in our own homes, um, that perhaps there was no better time to um, revisit this um, crowd favourite from three years ago. So I'm going to be starting a whole new 10 part series. Uh, we're going back to our old slot of Mondays at 6pm in the evening. Um, and I'm really looking forward to getting things started this week um, with a real kind of return to tradition. So you might, some of the fans of mine from the first series, remember my kitchen. Not a lot has changed. Um, we've still got the old sink and we've got the hob and we've got all of the other things that you'd expect to find in the kitchen. Um, and so we're going to be using, obviously, the tap. We're going to be using a glass. And I have also, because it is water tasting and I wouldn't expect anything less, got a silly hat to start things off. Um, this is actually, actually silly. It's actually the hat of Henry VIII, who has been one of the most tyrannical kings of the old of the British uh, um, history. So, um, and it's also got a slightly floppy jewel, but such is the fragility of monarchy these days. So there we are. This is my Henry VIII hat. There we are. So I feel suitably bedecked uh, to be able to complete the water tasting of the day. And I've also pre-selected a vessel to drink from. Here we have a very small glass tankard you can see there um, fitting I think for the occasion and now of course the water itself so I'm going to bring you over uh, to join me by the tap you might remember the uh, the setup here uh, I don't know I think we might have actually had the tap replaced since last time so there's something for um, for kind of the, the real fanatics to um, to, to eat about um, but um, let's just let it run cold there we are getting a bit colder some people go too early on this but I always like to make sure you can really feel the pinch of the cold on your on your your skin before you uh, before you drink so I'm just gonna have it that but if I leave it that strong it's just gonna rebound in my face so I'll just reduce the pressure a little bit and then we fill 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 nearing the top stop and then we have a perfect glass of water. So I'll just bring you up again for the tasting itself. Just got to handle things carefully. Okay, right, here we go. It's been a long time, but I'm glad we're back. Cheers. Oh. Oh, you know what? It all comes back to me now. And I must say, that's lovely. Fresh, cold, hint of kind of metallic um, hardness in there. But it's a really nice glass of water and it's a really great way to start things. I hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you all again next week. All right, don't die in the meantime. <laughs>